Hey, Audrey, can you tell us about your connections with Kansas City? My connection to Kansas City. Well, I was born and raised in Kansas City. I started theater in high school at Raytown South High School. And then I went to Truman State, which was Northeast Missouri State. And I had the opportunity to work with Guerrilla Theater, Tom Stoffel Theater, and Comedy Sports when I was in town. And I can't wait to reconnect with everyone. What are you most excited about to get into Casey Fringe and with the first live festival in a few years? I am so excited to come back to my hometown. And that's that's where I started doing theater. And I, I was there for a few years after college and just reconnect with the vibrant artistic community that's there that I have visited from time to time when I'm home visiting my family but really to dive in and be a part of it and make new friends and collaborators. I'm so excited to get to know everybody and everyone on the Fringe Festival team and the volunteers that I've met and worked with so far are awesome. And I think part of that is Cheryl's wonderful, inspirational energy and uh, dynamics. So I'm happy, happy to follow in her footsteps and get to work with her in the future. My question is, do you hang your bathroom tissue over or under? You know, I only ask the most important questions. Hi, Richie. That is a very important question. I have to say that normally I hang my toilet paper over. However, this guy, which is my new kitten, Jax, born in May, I now have to hang it under. Otherwise, he will roll out the toilet paper roll. If your life were a friend show, what would it look like? All right. If my life, Cheryl, was a friend show, it would definitely be multimedia. And it would have a mix of comedy and drama. Um, there would be some visual spectacle, and definitely physical comedy. My question for you is, it seems that throughout your career, you have been influenced by the arts. How far back does it go? Were you a child who just loved movies? Or where did that influence sort of begin? And when did you fall in love with the arts? Okay, so... How I got interested in art is I went to this amazing preschool called Alpha Preschool in Raytown. And it was, uh, my, my teachers were so excited about art of any kind. Um, and it really, it just caught on for me, that energy, the joy, the playfulness, the way everyone connected to work on whether it's drawing or painting or a puppet show or singing or playing instruments. We just had so much fun. And I always associated art with fun and pleasure. And then when I was in high school, um, I auditioned for the dance team and I didn't get into it. And when we saw the list, my best friend left me at school ran off in tears and left me. And there I was looking for a ride home. And I found a friend who was auditioning for this show. And I asked the teacher if I could just sit in and wait for him while he auditioned. And he's, we were, they were doing um, By the Skin of Our Teeth by Thornton Wilder, which it has a huge cast. And so the teacher said, well, I could sit in there, but I had to audition. So I did. And I got five little parts. I think I had three lines and I just found my home, my uh, friends and the playfulness and the connection. And I love disappearing into another person's life and getting to think and be and behave in ways that I myself would never behave. And I think that's really when I caught the bug for theater and I've never looked back. Do you have a signature outfit and what would it be as if you were designed for a tv show and your character model only had one outfit designed for them what would that outfit be signature outfit okay i love 
asymmetrical things. I wear a lot of black and it's not just from my time in New York. Um, I think it would be something tunicky and also leggings and something a little funky. That would be my signature outfit, I suppose. Do you put your pants on with the right leg or left leg first, or do you jump in with both at the same time? I kind of want to know if I've been doing it wrong all these years. No one has ever asked me that before, but generally I'm a person that I put on my left pant leg, my socks, and then I put on my left sock, then I put on my right pant leg and my right sock, then I pull up the pants. So I hope you've been doing that right, Richie. What is your favorite or your most memorable or the worst friend show you've ever seen? Okay, so I know it's kind of weird, but sometimes we have the memory of the worst show. And I think this was the worst show. It was a show that I had read the script for. I'm not going to tell you the name. Um, you can PM me or message me and I might share that with you. But uh, this show was an interactive show. I had read the script. It was amazing and powerful. And then actually at the show, the artist... Uh, was really rough with the audience and had this whole scene where he was eating chicken wings and then throwing them at the audience. Uh, he had the smallest houses of any show I'd ever been to. And then about a month later, um, that theater told me that they had found a chicken wing that had slid underneath a platform. Um, it, but it wasn't even funny bad. It was just bad, bad. Hey there, Audrey. You know what I really want to know? Your glasses. When you put them in the cabinet, do you put them right side up or upside down? And what is your reasoning for that? Diana, again, with these very important questions, I place my glasses right side up in the cupboard. And I know there's talk about that maybe dust gets in them, but I feel like I don't want to set them upside down, even though that counter space is uh, clean. I think it's because that's what my mom did. So I just kind of copied her style. Hey, Audrey, I'd love to hear about your experience with clowns. My connection with clown. Well, I have to say it's been a long and winding road. I mean, I remember seeing uh, a Ringling show when I was a kid. And I didn't necessarily think that clowns were particularly funny, but they were very memorable. And part of it was that they had the white face and I was talking very close to a guy and he smelled terrible. If you've ever smelled grease paint mixed with sweat, you know what I'm talking about. But he had a big smile painted on and he was tired and grumpy. So it was very strange. So that was my first memory. And then later I saw a performance of someone who had gone to Del Arte and I thought, this is really weird. Um, I wasn't sure if they knew what they were doing. I wasn't sure how much of it was real, the actor or the clown. Now, that was intriguing. The first show that I saw that was the clown that I ended up, the type of clowning that I ended up doing was a show called Clowns in the Vagina. And um, it wasn't about what the title might suggest, but basically it was amazing. Um, the three clowns, and the show is directed by Sue Morrison, the three clowns clearly had an outline, were hilarious physical comedians, but the show changed so much every night. And I saw that in the New York Fringe Festival in 2000. And I was also in the festival doing a dramatic show but I made time and I went to see all of the performances and they were totally different every time. In fact, one of them, the power went out in the building and they ran outside and all the audience, we ran outside with them and they finished the show outside. And it was crazy and exciting. And that just really piqued my curiosity. I wanted to be that connected with the audience and that connected with the story, but also the freedom to let loose. So then I started studying, then I ran the New York Clown Theater Festival, 
uh, for 10 years, started and founded that. And then I got into hospital clowning, which I think is one of the most amazing art forms ever. And uh, I will talk until the end of the night every single time about clowning. So be careful if you ask me because it'll be a long conversation. Which Spice Girl do you most relate to? Nick, um, I hate to admit it. No, I don't. I don't hate it at all. I am just not a Spice Girls fan. I have never really been into that poppy music. I would say I'm more of like a Pussy Riot fan. You know, um, I love also the indie rock scene with lots of the female artists. So right now I'm really loving Billie Eilish, but I can't say I know even the names of the Spice Girls. Sorry, Nick. Hi, Audrey, and welcome to the Kansas City Fringe. What I want to know as the head of visual arts is what is your vision for the future of visual arts in the Kansas City Fringe? The visual arts program. Hmm. Well, uh, for one, I, I think you've done so much great work, Sarah. So I hope we continue that forward. And I would love to add more mediums into that. Um, I would also love to have more public art, things outside of our venues, things taking place during the festival. I personally love installations and also performance art. So I hope in the next couple years, we can add those things into the visual arts program. What person has most inspired you to this point in your life? Who has inspired me the most? Wow, Cheryl, that's a difficult one. Um, I think in terms of creation, I might, if I had to put a name down, I guess I would say Julie Taymor. And part of the reason why I loved her, love her work so much is that she has really continued to grow and change throughout her career. And I think sometimes when artists get to a certain level, they um, make safe choices. And I think she never stopped making dangerous and unique choices. So I greatly appreciate her work. Also, though, I will say that I find inspiration every day. I mean, that's part of the reason why I love something like the Fringe Festival, where there's a lot of new work coming in, because sometimes the new work, people are doing things uh, because they came up with the, the way to do them instead of copying off of something else. And I get inspired every time I see a show. I love to watch artists in their career and their growth. I love to go to museums, love to listen to music. I'm inspired every single day by nature. So um, I'm really excited to meet anyone and dig in and get to know all these artists here that are coming to our festival. Mm -hmm. 